जय हिंद दोस्तों सो so, फिर से एक बार आपका स्वागत है अपने सेंट्रल बैंक की वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज़ में मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आप सभी लोग अच्छे हैं खुश हैं और पेट्रोटिक है इंडिपेंडेंस डे की आपको सभी को शुभकामनाएं हम लोग देश भर में आज़ादी का अमृत महोत्सव मना रहे हैं उसकी भी आप लोग सभी लोगों को शुभकामनाएं हर घर तिरंगा इसी तरह लहराते रहे और हम हम लोग हमेशा पेट्रोटिक रहे पेट्रोटिज्म कभी ना भूले देखिए दोस्तों पेट्रोटिज्म ये ऐसी चीज़ है कि देखो हम लोग हमारे देश के प्रति जो हमारे कर्तव्य है उसको निभाते रहे ये एक एक तरीके का पेट्रोटिज्म है अभी एक फॉर एग्जांपल आपको बता दूं मैं जैसा कि जैसा रोड पे कचरा पड़ा हुआ है और तो हमारा ये कर्तव्य बनता है हमारी ये ड्यूटी है कि वो कचरे को उठा के डस्टबिन में डाल दे ताकि हमारा देश क्लीन रहे यही एक्सपेक्टेशन है हमारी और इसी को पेट्रोटिज़म बोलते हैं पेट्रोटिज़म नथिंग बट अलग अलग तरीके हैं पेट्रोटिज़म के कोई जवान जो है जो बॉर्डर पे रहते हैं जो सिविल लोग हैं सिविलियन लोग हैं हम लोग हमारे जो कर्तव्य है उसको निभा देंगे बस वही एक तरह का पेट्रोटिज़म है तो ठीक है दोस्तों इसी उम्मीद के साथ अभी आगे बढ़ते हैं दोस्तों इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ आवर सेंट्रल बैंकिंग सी आई बी ऑप्शनल सीरीज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड फर्स्ट चैप्टर नाउ वी विल लुक फॉर दैट वट एवर क्वेश्चन आर देयर ऑन द लास्ट पेज ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फ्राम द मैकमिलन बुक दैट आई विल टेक बिकॉज सी दोस्तों दिस क्वेश्चन आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट विच आर गिवन इन द लास्ट पेज ऑफ द एवरी चैप्टर अराउंड आई थिंक फाइव और सिक्स क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर फॉर पर चैप्टर सो आई थिंक ट्वेल्व चैप्टर्स आर देयर इन होल बुक सो अराउंड सिक्सटी सेवेंटी क्वेश्चन विल गेट कवर्ड थ्रू अवर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड दैट क्वेश्चन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्राम दैट ऑल्सो आई आई बी एफ डेफिनेटली विल आस सम क्वेश्चन आई एम हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर अबाउट इट इफ यू फॉलो अवर वीडियो लेक्चर सीज थ्रू आउट सो डेफिनेटली यू विल स्कोर फिफ्टी प्लस दैट इज माई हंड्रेड परसेंट गारंटी यू विल डेफिनेटली स्कोर फिफ्टी प्लस इवन सम पीपल कैन स्कोर सेवेंटी एटी सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव दिज मार्क्स ऑल्सो पॉसिबल इफ यू फॉलो अवर वीडियो लेक्चर सीज थ्रू आउट अवर कोर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू कैन रीड इट प्राइमरी स्टिमुलस फॉर इस्टेब्लिशिंग सेंट्रल बैंक एंड स्ट्रेंडनिंग देयर एक्टिविटीज इन मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी इमेनेटेड फ्रॉम सो फोर ऑप्शन हैव बिन गिवन सो आंसर इज एक्जीजेंसी ऑफ द वार फाइनेंसिंग एक्चुअली आई ऑलरेडी दिस वॉज आई थिंक अवर फर्स्ट पॉइंट ओनली फ्रॉम ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन सी इन दैट आवर फर्स्ट पॉइंट ओनली दैट वॉज दैट प्राइमरी स्टिमुलस फॉर इस्टेब्लिशिंग सेंट्रल बैंक वॉज द exigency of the war financing at that time i already explained na because the war was going on for that money management or you can say public debt management was the primary function and for that one central bank was needed so many private bank at that time was privatized so first question answer is exigency of the war financing then i can show you in my previous notes also this is our previous notes you can see primary stimulus for establishing central bank was the exigency of war financing first point only was that one then second question is that lender of last resort function of the central bank is associated with the problem of moral hazard this was also explained in our video lecture series you can see this was our first chapter in that lender of last resort function center bank associated with the problem of moral hazard or deliberate solvency Actually, I explained you earlier that lender of last resort means if any banking crisis happen in the economy, then central bank will come for rescue those banks. That is, they will provide some emergency liquidity at some penultimate interest. But why it is associated with the moral hazard? Because definitely, if you think that somebody is there for helping you, then with that expectation, your moral behavior will go. Uh, down because bank will think they will give reckless lending uh, prudential norms they will not follow it so what will happen uh, definitely that uh, th this is only the morality decline at the part of the bank thinking that central bank definitely come and rescue them 
Moral hazard only was the problem that also happened during the Asian economic crisis or Mexican crisis or whatever crisis you will think in the world that happened. This was moral hazard problem always associated with that. In the next lecture series, I am going to explain you about the 1930 Great Depression also and Asian economic crisis of 1997. That is also explained in detail. Some uh, separate video I will uh, share with you. So third question is uh, following uh, two objective of monetary policy of US Federal Reserve are referred to as a dual mandate. See in our previous lecture you can see this uh, nine point nine point you can see USA Federal Reserve System with three key objective EP short form I told you EP means employment price stability and interest rate control. So these three objective was the main objective of the US Federal System. Out of these three objectives, first two objectives, see, employment and price stability was dual mandate. I already written here, dual mandate. So, question was asked, which are the following two objectives of monetary policy of the US Federal Reserve referred to as dual mandate. It was EP, means maximizing employment and stabilizing prices. Means employment and prices are the two uh, object, main objectives which are called as a dual mandate of the US Federal Reserve. I am taking it from the directly from the our Macmillan book only. So you don't need to go through the this 400 pages book. I am sim I am there for you for simplifying everything. So you don't worry about it because uh, not only book is somewhat bulky but also conceptual part is there some complicated uh, uh, part is there. And, uh, easily everybody will not understand that. Now, why like this is happening? Why interest rate has been reduced? Why <clears throat> inflation suddenly occur? Why inflation need to be controlled? So there are conceptual background behind uh, every topic. I will clear it uh, through our second uh, video lecture series, which will be based on the function of central banks. Through that, uh, we will cover this point more elaborate way. In the first chapter, what we are done, we are done um, uh, in a very much objective way because that chapter was more, more about objective only i already explained you earlier that uh, in our central banking cib optional uh, that uh, you can think 60% uh, part is uh, conceptual and 40% part is uh, objective in nature that you have to remember something like for example in germany what the central bank called it is bundesbank what the uh, bank of england what it is known as the old lady of thread needle street like that you have to remember okay so we will go for a fourth question shortly after second world war Bundesbank bank in germany was allowed to impose the following stipulation in bank the answer is cash reserve ratio so this was also explained you can think uh, you don't need to think i have already explained you see i think here it is fourth point fourth point you can see after second world war Bundesbank bank in germany imposed crr on bank this was the beginning of minimum reserve requirements Okay, so it was Germany who has uh, started this prudential requirement. This is minimum reserve requirement. So this question may they have asked that uh, which country some central bank has started the CRR concept. Okay, so next question is following your supervisory body was established in UK in the year 2000. Here it was USA they have written but not it, it should be supervisory body it should be here UK only. So it was FSA. Uh, this question also we are explained in our series. You can think. Uh, see third point. Following supervisor body established in UK in 2000. See financial service authority. So answer is FSA. Financial service authority. So uh, other than that also. Other than that also so many you can think in our first chapter I have explained so many different points also you just go through first video lecture series you will get idea of the first chapter okay so uh, whatever questions was there on the last page of the first chapter I have completed that first chapter uh, MCQ lecture series so definitely uh, soon I will bring uh, um, uh, second chapter of central bank CIB optional that will be related to function of you can see this one function of central banks there are some these many points are there i will cover them that points one by one don't worry about it 
so so this is the end of the our first uh, mcq video lecture series of the uh, first chapter theory and practice of central banking evolution so okay aap logo ko milte hain fir next video lecture series mein uh, second chapter so i hope uh, all of you stay happy healthy goodbye